What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a super quick tutorial to show you how you can calculate the number of workdays between two dates, with a start date and an end date being January 1st of 2020 and December 31st of 2020 in this example with a list of holidays that are optional. Now, just as a quick note, there are two different kind of versions of this, the equals network days and the equals network days are international. Equals network days assumes that weekends are Saturday and Sunday and network days that international assumes that you pick what days the weekends are on as it changes in different cultures, which is important because it is it affects the number of network dates that are calculated when you give it a list of holidays. So to do use this function to equals net work days, open parentheses, the start date, we can just self reference. So January 1st of 2020, the end date is is December 31st of 2020. Now the next argument is optional, as you can tell by how it is in brackets, which is holidays. So to do, to, to show you how this works now, it shows that there are 262 work days in December in 2020. So now we can feed it a list of holidays. So comma, and for the holidays, you just hide the holidays. Then it's just a, a list of holidays that are um, federal holidays in the United States. So just highlight this. As you can see, instead of 262, it's now 253. The network data international is very similar, except there's an additional optional argument being allowing you to just pick what the weekend days are. So equals work days dot ntl open parentheses start date and end date. And as you can see. Initially, it gives the same value, but that changes with the next argument. So, as you can see, we can change what days and weekends are on. So instead of being Saturday and Sunday, which is what it uh, what it defaults, so you can be Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth. So for this example, I'm going to change it to be Sunday, Monday, for example. But you know, just by typing in two, and that changes is. We go to the next argument and feed it a list of holidays. So, so and as you can see, so the, some of the holidays are on on different on the, are on different days. So as you can see, using this function, we have two hundred fifty two work days, two hundred fifty six work days, which is just the equals network days, which assumes Saturday Sunday weekends um, had two hundred fifty three work days, and this one assumed a Sunday Monday work weekend. So. And, and also, please, please note, you can always just change the list of holidays that it's referenced to, to your liking. With that being said, I really hope that you all found this tutorial to be helpful. Please like, subscribe, and comment as any support for this channel is extremely, extremely helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and have a great day.